very important that uh, His Highness uh, Crown Prince uh, Mohammed bin Salman uh, has stayed on after the G20 summit for a state visit. Uh, and uh, not only that, but he's come with a very strong delegation with seven ministers and about a hundred top businessmen. So today um, they are uh, organizing along with Invest India an India-Saudi Arabia investment forum, uh, which is where the Saudi side is telling the reasons why we should invest, Indian companies should invest in a new and dynamic Saudi Arabia. And similarly, Invest India is saying about all the opportunities that India offers to Saudi investors to, uh, to invest. So I think it's a very wonderful thing that there's a platform here for uh, business delegations from both sides to meet each other. So even while the government-to-government -government interaction is happening between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and uh, His Highness Mohammed bin Salman, the businessmen are meeting here separately in the investment forum, and I'm hoping that a number of uh, agreements and MOUs are going to emerge uh, out of the uh, conversations taking place today. Do you think that this is uh, you know, going to happen because of the stable and strong government leadership in the country? I think it's going to happen because uh, there's a great deal of convergence uh, strategically of India and uh, Saudi Arabia. I think it's going to happen because uh, India and Saudi Arabia are two of the largest and fastest growing uh, economies in the world. Uh, certainly the two fastest growing economies in uh, G20. Uh, and uh, because both countries' leaderships have decided uh, that we need to work much more closely with each other. We have a strategic partnership uh, uh, agreement. And I'm sure we are going to see this relationship uh, advance uh, as a result of the uh, discussions taking place in Hyderabad House today.